consider a five-year semi-annual coupon bond, which will have nine six-month periods, has a 5% coupon rate the year to get a coupon payment of $25 every six months with a face value of $1,000, the very last period's cash flow will be the $25 plus the $1,000 face value. We are given the price, which is the present value of 957.35. We need to find out what the yield to maturity is. Now to find out what the yield to maturity is, we need to find out what the six month discount rate is and then annualize it to get the yield to maturity. Conceptually, the discount rate here will solve this equation. It's the rate that such that the present value of this $25 annuity for 10 periods plus the present value of this face value will sum to 957.35. We cannot solve for this R algebra. So therefore, we do have to use the financial calculator to get the answer to yield to maturity of a coupon. We will put in the terms. Recall that the number of periods were 10. So we're going to put in 10 and put that into N. We price was 957.35. Three, five. And I need to put in the minus sign. This is very important to recognize there for my PV because I have to pay $957.35. I'm going to put in that payment, 25. I'll make that positive because if I own the bond, I will receive $25 every period. And I will put in a positive 1000 for the FV again, because this is what I would receive if I bought the bond. Now it's time for me to compute the interest rate. And I get a six month rate of really 3%. If I go back to my formula here, we see that the R is 3%. However, the yield to maturity is an APR. And because the bond is semi-annual, we need to multiply it by two to make it an APR, giving us yield to maturity of 6%. If you were to use the TI-84 or similar graphing calculator, you would follow these steps. You press the apps button, select finance, and you select the TVM solver. And you enter in everything just as we did before, except you would enter it in on a screen. And then you're going to put your cursor right over here after you enter in those numbers. And while your cursor is on the place for the interest rate, you're going to then press the alpha button the calculator will then fill in there the value of 3, annualize the number because this was a semi-annual bond.